And I think it just drips off the, the window ledge. Doesn't get into the, the little bit of paneling there. I helped my neighbor order a bike, an electric bike. He's a few years older than me, but he's, he had an old one, but it was uh, not as even remotely as good as the newer electric bikes, but uh, he got the bike and he really liked it. And, uh, but he ordered a, uh, a luggage rack and fenders and uh, this was five six months ago and I finally I got I'm on the email for that order I finally got a notice that he received his fenders <laughs> and but he was real good about it he just kept patiently waiting hmm. I don't know why there would be back ordered like that but oh yeah we got a view hmm. yeah that should be fine dripping down the wall didn't hurt in anything. That wall is waterproof material, I think. One kilowatt we're drawn, and that's about what this little heater puts out. I really love that heater for this camper. I don't think there's anything that could have improved the heating situation better, you know, other than <laughs> a couple ducks over here for the furnace. But who likes to listen to a furnace kicking on and the fan blowing? It's a beautiful morning out there. Beautiful cold morning. <laughs> A lot of that water is making it out the weep holes. Kind of nice. If it was, there's a piece of trim here that if it was a little narrower than the channel, <coughs> it would drip right into the leaf hole. Or they could have bent it a little bit. Yum yum.
Maybe I'll wait for the smoke to un to thaw. <coughs> it's frozen. Hmm. Still only 28 degrees in this fridge. Hmm. It's probably colder than that freezer. <laughs> I got my uh, one of my candle lanterns going, working really good. It. Uh, Works good there and then it prevents me from hitting this sharp 